Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi like this one as a donor car. On this episode we're going to continue with the prep work that I need to do before I can chop off this roof and we're going to start by removing this B pillar. Now I know I haven't actually uploaded in a couple of months, um, but the weather's been pretty bad here where I live. Um, we've had like sleet, rain, wind, we've even had snow. Now I did actually try filming a video in January, but the wind was so bad this door was whistling and blowing and banging like this and the audio was terrible but we've got some sun today so yeah the weather is nice no wind we've got sun and the weatherman says it's not going to rain all day so fingers crossed so, I want to prep this car ready to chop the roof off, and that means removing the two B pillars there. Now it's a little bit tight in here, so you know what that means. I'm going to have to push this car over against that wall. Now the last time I chopped the roof off my uh, Audi donor car, the first donor car, I started by removing these B pillars here and basically all I did is I got the uh, saw angle grinder, zipped it off here, zipped it off the top, didn't take very long and you can do that as well. But I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with this and I'll explain why. Now, if you've been following along, then you will know that on my first donor car, which was an older Audi A6, I took the bulkhead out from that donor car, I chopped it up, and I used it in the prototype. Now, there's a load of um, good, useful datums and points that I need to use on this bulkhead. Uh, for example, where the steering goes, there's points for where the... Um, the actual dashboard bolts to this sort of thing where the air conditioning unit fits all this sort of stuff this is good information now the idea is not to actually use this um, bulkhead in the finished car the idea is to use this as a plug with all the points on it and then make it out of fiberglass and then that would be part of the actual finished turbo car now when I was designing the first chassis I wanted some structural strength that went across the car and was inside this bulkhead. And it worked well on the first donor car because on the first donor car, this bulkhead was a single skin. On this bulkhead, it isn't. So if we take a quick look inside the bulkhead, this is the engine side, you will see this inner skin here. Now we'll take a look on the other side and this piece here is a separate piece that is spot riveted onto the bulkhead in fact I think if you look through there you can actually see where the first skin is and this is the second skin now, the problem I have is if you remember the style and the design of my chassis, there is supposed to be a strong piece of steel that runs through that. 
Now the only way I'm going to be able to mock that up, I think I'm going to have to drill out these spots here, um, then cut this out and then re-weld this back on so I can use it for mock-up on the turbo build. And obviously I don't want to make a mess of it. Now, before I actually tackle that bulkhead and maybe make a mess of it, I thought I'd mess about with this one with some spot weld cutter bits like this and I will cut out some of the spot welds and see if I can pull this out without damaging it too much and without just chopping it off. Um, we'll see, I'm going to have a mess about, just get some practice and uh, if I get bored, I'll just get this sawsaw out and just whoop, zip them out, you know. But anyway, that's the plan. So we'll begin by removing the door seal. Just going to remove this plastic trim. This one's already broken, so can't really save it or anything. remove this piece of trim here and it looks like this piece of rubber or plastic that pulls away here and there's a screw on the inside. It looks like it just pulls away. There's a small sort of uh, pip if you like there and that clips into this little hole there. One more screw in there. That's it. Just get rid of the door latch. I'll just remove the seat belt adjuster point here. It's an Allen head bolt in there and it's at M6. Well, this is all stripped now, so all I've got to do is drill a few spot welds along here I think and then I'll probably get the angle grinder around here and then chop that at the top and we'll get this out. This isn't really a how-to video you know to do this you know if you're uh, repairing your car or something this isn't the way to do it right I'm just gonna hack away until it's out.
think I'll just chop this piece off here with the reciprocating saw. And I'm gonna try these blades. I bought them on eBay. Uh, Sabre Cut Extreme. Okay. They're not sponsoring this video or anything, but uh, I'm gonna give them a go, see if they're any good. Well, it says it can cut through three to eight millimeter steel. So uh, let's have a go. Not too bad so far. That's worn out. <laughs> Bit of a pain, but now I know where all the uh, different pieces of metal are, so uh, the other side I don't think will be as bad, but we'll see. Just tidy all this up now. Well, that's one side done. Got to push the car over to the other side of the garage and chop out the other one. So same again, remove the rubbers, the latches, this piece of trim, and then choppy choppy.
stripped, time to chop it out. First blade snapped. One done. Let's take a quick look at the carnage. <laughs> like I say, this is not a how to video to repair your B pillars or anything like that. This is just a choppy, choppy, brutal video. <laughs> okay, this whole body shell is going to get chopped up and it's all going to be parted out. This is not going to be back on the road. Well, the roof is almost ready to chop off, but I need to get rid of a few little bits and pieces that are still left on the underside. I think there's some brackets. I'm going to remove the aerial and I'm going to loosen off these, but I'm going to leave them on, but it's just easier just to uh, crack the bolts loose while they're still here. Uh, but like I say, they will be staying on so I can lift the roof off, but I just want to loosen those bolts off. To remove the roof rack rails, you just reach inside there, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that side, there's one the other side there, and there's some more down there. And the last thing to do are these hinges. This is the M13 nut on the inside, undo it, and these hinges just should come away. One. pillars are now removed and the roof is now stripped ready to be chopped off. Now all I need is a couple of good days with some sun and some good weather so I can get that done. Now the last time I chopped a roof off an Audi A6, my first owner car, I think it took me an afternoon. Um, you know I wasn't particularly rushing or anything like that but I also wasn't filming it. Now I think you could probably just chop this off in 20 minutes, no problem at all. But like I say, I am trying to film it for you. But anyway, when I get some good weather and some free time, I'll push this out and get the roof chopped off. Um, 
Now, some of you might have noticed I haven't uploaded as much as I normally do. I normally get something done once a week or something if I can. Um, yes, there was some bad weather, um, it was miserable, you know, sleet, snow and all the rest of it, but I was also quite busy and I really didn't have time for this. I am doing this as a hobby, it's just something I do in my spare time, you know, it's not full time or anything, it's not my job or anything. Um, now, I just noticed on YouTube, I've been making these vi videos for two years now, <laughs> and the problem with doing that is I've been putting a lot of things on the back burner. Well, that back burner is getting quite full. So I'm going to have to spend some time on doing some uh, maintenance on the house and some other projects that I've got to get done. But don't worry, I will be uploading more videos over the next year. No worries about that. I just don't know how regular they're going to be. But I will be uploading something for you. I've got to get this stripped completely. I've got to get the engine out. I need the rear suspension out of this thing. And then I've got to take all this down to the, the skip, the tip. And I've still got loads more videos to make on showing you how I built the prototype supercar. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.